Hello, hello, my name's Dale Majors, and today I wanna to talk about hiring people in the Philippines, and specifically five things that I know now that I didn't know a month ago before I started uh, looking for workers. So let's get started. A month ago, I made a job posting on onlinejobs.ph to find Filipino um, outsourced workers, VAs, virtual assistants. And the three jobs that I posted for were, one, I wanted a virtual assistant, two, somebody that knew SEO, and three, a video editor. I got so many job applications, over 400, and that was really hard to sort through. Um, the posting process is pretty cool, and when you see their online resumes, it shows like their DISC personality profile test, but it doesn't give much in regards to job history. I couldn't see that there, and I'm paying for the $70 a month account. So one tip that I would have when posting for a job is give as clear a description as you can. And if you can plant a few Easter eggs in there where you make it, you know, have them answer a certain question like, and this was given, this was a tip given to me by a good friend, Damon. He said, I like to post, if you're really interested in this, add me on Skype at this and send me, I really love, love, love your job description. Okay. So that's, that's an example of an Easter egg. So. But what I also did is I made a video that said, my name is Dale Majors and here are the businesses that I'm working on and this is the kind of help that I need just so they could learn a little bit more about me and about the project before they submitted their application. So that's tip one is create a clear job description and include some Easter eggs. Two, I didn't realize that a lot of the, a lot of the outsourcers I've worked with thus far have multiple jobs. I talked with one person who agreed to work full-time for me, but he was gonna work full-time somewhere else. And they just work all the time. That's a generalization. But I found that a lot of these people, uh, I have a friend who has six employees, all but two, eight employees, all but two of them have other jobs on top of their 40 hour job. And my friend pays for 60 hours for two of those employees because they just work so much which makes me sad that it's like that. And I don't, I'm still learning how I feel about all of that. Um, another, another, the third thing, so two is they have lots of jobs and that's something you need to, you either need to pay them enough or buy all of their hours or they're gonna have another job. So when you hear the, oh, it's only $3 an hour, it's really 450 because you're gonna have to buy them for 60 hours if you want them full time. That's okay. Um, three, they don't sleep, they do not sleep. I talked to one lady who wants to work for me from midnight until 4 a.m. And I say, Where, when are you going to sleep? Well, I'll probably sleep when my daughter's at school from 12 to 3, when my kids take naps. Okay, that's fine. Um, when else are you going to sleep? Oh, yeah, I'll sleep at night too from, from 8 until midnight. What? That's crazy. There are se And a lot of these people, I asked one when she slept and she said that she didn't know. That's crazy to me. I don't understand. Four, there's lots of turnover with these outsourcers because they'll get contracts for six or nine months, so they'll go through a lot of jobs, which isn't something I'm looking for. I'm looking to find a VA, to train them, and to keep them for a long time. So I really need to be choosy and find some good people to help. Uh, five is to just get started. Um, I dabbled and was looking at resumes for a long time and talking with people back and forth. I decided that I would just test someone out for a week and within two or three days, I learned so many lessons. And I'm doing that with a couple employees, one for lead generation, another one for video editing, and it's been good. And if you have to, I'd rather, I also don't wanna waste these people's time. So if I have them edit a video and they do six hours of work for me, I'll just pay the 20 or $30 for the video. They can win, I can win and move on to find somebody better. So those are the tips that I have that have helped me thus far. I'm a total newbie at outsourcing, while I've had experience management, managing people, so I know some of the principles, this is a whole new ball game. So good luck, I would love to hear from you. Um, comment below with what you've learned about outsourcing or what questions you have, and maybe I can answer them or we can find somebody else that can. Um, like and subscribe, and thank you so much.